You ever go to a science museum and see one of these displays? This one is from the Exploratorium Museum in San Francisco, but I've seen these displays in various science museums. I love it when scientific and mathematical concepts can be communicated visually. It really helps me to better grasp these otherwise abstract concepts. Whenever I leave one of these museums, I usually have a whole bunch of project ideas that I want to recreate usually involving 3D printing in some way. This hyperbolic slot display is one that I've been wanting to tackle for quite some time now. If you search YouTube, you'll find all sorts of cool designs. Some very professional looking ones to this Lego built one. Here's a really cool clock one. You can also find these laser cut model kits that you can put together yourself. Uh, Devon with the Make Anything channel had actually made a 3D printed one a few years back which he had designed using SolidWorks. This has been one of those projects that has been living in my head for quite some time now until I finally decided to go ahead and design one in Fusion 360 and 3D print it. The beautiful thing with struggling through a design like this is that it gives you a solid understanding of what is happening and how what looks to be an optical illusion is just a function of time and position. If I take this angled rod and create a circular pattern, I can clearly see that each instance of the rod goes through the slot in a different position and angle, which gives it the appearance of a rod bending to go through a curved slot. Now, after designing this, I realized that there are so many Fusion 360 design concepts packed into this model that I can teach an entire course using this one model. It allows me to cover how to approach an assembly made up of many components that have to be precisely aligned with various joints and motion links. I cover how I made the gears by importing step files from the built-in McMaster car catalog and teach best practices on modifying these 3D models to fit your design. For example, I took this one bevel gear and modified it so that it makes up the entire rotating platform. I show how to position and align your gears so that after 3D printing them, they mesh perfectly. We look at designing and 3D printing your own bearings using print in place techniques that allow two bodies to rotate about each other without coming apart and without fusing together. I show the technique I use to secure the gears and the bearings to the crank using these locking pins. Those are just some of the items I'll be covering. In the next few days, I'll do a few videos on some of the highlights from this design, but if you want to follow along and design your own from scratch while I guide you, then consider joining my online live class group, which meets every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern time through Zoom. We're going to start tackling this design on Tuesday, August 9th, so I wanted to invite you to join before then. If the time of the class doesn't work for you, that's okay because you'll have access to the replay videos from the class that you can watch at your own time and pace. I'm currently running a promotion on joining the live class. Use the link below to take advantage of it. I hope to see you there. Alright, I'll be back tomorrow with a tutorial video. See you then.